Sam Lines. Welcome back to Best Beginner Guitar Lessons. As many of you know, uh, the best way, I feel like the best way to learn how to play guitar and play your favorite songs is by learning, starting off with learning four cards, four very popular cards, G, E minor, C, and D. I've got quite a few videos uh, here on my YouTube channel showing uh, these four cards, showing how to play them the standard, regular way. And then I also show you my special way of playing them, where it makes it easier to play the cards, uh, easier to move and transition from one to the other. And uh, those videos, you can find them here on my YouTube page. Today, I want to talk about what I consider to be one of the best uh, secrets, if you would, uh, of learning how to play the guitar for a beginner. And that's the use of a capo. Now the capo is something uh, that you can use. Primarily what they use a the capo for is to be able to adjust the, the key of your guitar without actually having to learn new cards in that new key. And what what I recommend is using the capo for is being able to help you play the cards easier uh, and move from one to the other easier. And what we're going to do with the capo again, you'll put it on the net and it, you'll move it down the frets. Now this is the nut here, the white piece called a nut, that's zero. And every time you move up one fret, that's a half step. So one, two, three, four. Every time you move up two frets, one, two, that's a whole step. So half step, one fret up from the nut, whole step, two frets up from the nut. Okay. And like I said, uh, you may have a guitar uh, that has actions high, the strings are far from the neck, making it hard to play. Using this capo, it's going to make a world of difference on how you're able to press the strings down to the fretboard and be able to move from one part to the other. Because what it does, if you'll notice on your guitar neck here, as you move down towards the body of the guitar, the fret spacing starts to get smaller. You see the see from here to here, you see how wide it is. But as you move down, that narrows and gets smaller and smaller in between the frets. That's the key to using the capo for a beginner. Now I'm not going to go over uh, showing you the capo and, and what it does as you move the capo down the neck. What what key you're playing at that point? But what you what we're going to do is. If you take your capo, and I advise getting a capo, uh, it's something you, you really need, and it's going to make a world of difference in you learning how to play the guitar. But what we'll do, you'll take your capo, and in this case, I'm going to start here on my second fret. It just clamps on your guitar, and it presses all the strings down at that point. Now, okay, we moved up one two which is a whole step okay so i if i were playing my g chord i can't play it here because my capo's in the way so what i have to do is play the g down here okay which is a whole step up so a whole step up here can't play my g here so i have to play it a whole step up Two frets from where my capo is. One, two. And that's why I have a start place with the G. Okay. So now I'm still playing G. And I'm playing it the way I, I like to show it. First finger on the fifth string, second fret. Which in, in this case, it's actually the fourth fret. Okay. But anyway, you play it just, just like you do the G that I showed the other videos. Here, fifth string, sixth string. Okay, fifth fret, and then these two bottom, the little finger and the ring finger locked in on the first two strings on the fifth fret. Okay, so we're fourth and fifth fret, playing G. Now, 
same position we were playing up here where the capo is right now. But we've added the capo, so now we have to play it, okay, down here. Now, you can hear the tonal difference, and that's because this capo is acting like this nut. The nut has shifted to this position, okay. So again, we're playing G, and it allows us to play the chords just like we were playing up here, the standard way, except now we're playing them down here, and we've got to reduce uh, distance in the frets. And also, what it does, as you use the capo, your, your strings are brought closer to the neck, making it so much easier to play and press and move from one to the other. If you haven't ever used the capo, you need to get one. It will make all the difference in the world. You're learning your chords and being able to change from one to the other, making your chords sound clear. You won't believe the difference it will make. So if we were playing the G here, using the capo, you can hear the sound how it's been buffeted up one whole step. Strung it just like the other way, the other chord. really makes a big difference. And the pressure it, that you need to apply to the strings to get them to go down to the fretboard to clear your card up makes a big difference using that capo. And you can put this capo anywhere you want to on, this, on the neck. If you want to just slide it up to the fourth fret right here, again, same chords different sound I highly recommend using a capo if you're a beginner like I say if your guitar is hard to play uh, it's going to make a world of difference you've been able to make the chords. And even if you're playing the standard G, the regular G chord, same thing. You just play it right down here, just the way you're playing up here, the regular G. So if you're playing it down here, okay, G, C, and C, regular C, D. To. I always like to play it 4th fret, it's good, good sound on the 4th fret, 5th fret's good too. And you can do some really nice, really nice figure uh, movement with it. Easy, soft, easy to play. And all you have to do is just use that capo. So again, the secret, if you're having trouble making the cards and, and being able to play the cards starting out, remember the first four cards, what you need to concentrate on, G, E minor, C and D. Those are the four cards. If you're just starting out on the guitar, concentrate on those four cards. If you're looking to play songs, looking to play uh, the different types of songs that you like. If you focus on those four chords and learn them uh, really well, you'll be able to play hundreds, even thousands of songs. And then, later on, I'll show you how to use this capo that will take those four chords and change them into a hundreds of chords just by using the capo, still playing the chord shape in the normal way. Uh, it's really amazing. It's, again, this is my secret to learning how to play guitar. Uh, 
it really helps reduce the finger soreness. You won't get as much finger soreness if you use this. Uh, capo, even starting out, you can use it. Uh, when we first start showing you the cards, the GE Bot or CND, go ahead and use that capo. And start it on the second fret, right here. Right here. And then when we show you the G, play it right there. Highly recommend it. Uh, I'm going to put a link down in the description. This is what the, they call the Kaiser Capo. There, there's a number of different ones. Uh, uh, Shub uh, makes Capos. Kaiser makes them. Uh, Hamilton uh, makes uh, Capos also. I recommend this little uh, Kaiser. Uh, I believe it's a KB6. I'm going to have a link below in the description. Go take a look. Click that link. Go take a look. And uh, get you one. I think they're they're very inexpensive, not expensive, and it's gonna it's gonna be money uh, well spent, and it's gonna get you playing your cards, transitioning from one to another, uh, really really quick. Uh, you're gonna be amazed at what what this little uh, capo will do for you. Uh, down in the description also, uh, I'm going to have a link. To my homepage on my website, bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. If you click that link, it'll bring you to the homepage. Just enter your email, and click the button there, and it's going to bring you to the page that has my Best Beginner Guitar Lessons course. This is the same course I've used and continue to use for over 36 years, teaching how to play the guitar. It's 38 step by step lessons and you start with number one you follow them through all the way down through 38 and if you were coming here personally to my studio taking lessons 101 um, you'd be looking at about 38 weeks uh, of lessons once a week and about a thousand dollars and i'm giving to to these lessons to you to everyone who visits uh here on my youtube channel and my website completely free there's nothing to buy they're the complete lessons. They're not part of a lesson. Then they go to trying to sell you something. There's no, no gimmick here. They're there. They're for you to use. If you use them, learn each lesson well, and then move to the next, you will learn how to play the guitar. Now, uh, many of you know, and if you don't know, if this is your first time here, uh, if you want, I like to get you uh, kick-started, get you going fast. And this is why I show my four card, G, E minor. C and D, play with the bottom two fingers locked in on the first and second strings. Um, because if you use it, use these cards in, in this form, you have very little finger movement going from G to C. Just drop the first and second finger down to D. Move your first finger to the third string. These two bottom fingers stay locked in right there. And then E minor, fourth string. Second fret. This will get you kick started. And uh, I've had a lot of students that they just focus on those four chords, learn them really well, and then start learning a lot of different songs using those four chords. Whatever gender you like, country, blues, rock, whatever it is. These four chords can be used for any type of music. And uh, then the use of the capo, it's going to help you get started fast with not having a Press real hard. Uh, it will it will take out take out the finger soreness, reduce it quite a bit, and allow you to play uh, much easier, much faster, and cleaner, card to card. And like I say, you can play that capo anywhere. Some people play them way up on the seventh, eighth fret. I like to stay no further down than the fifth fret. And remember, this is the zero. The nuts the zero. You move up one fret. That's a half step. Move up two frets, that's a whole step. Okay? And it does that way all the way. Half step. Okay? Whole step. Does that all the way down. Uh, except the uh, <clears throat> the B and the E, okay, they do not have that, that half step. In other words, if you get up here, A, okay, and then A sharp B, there's no B sharp. It just goes to C. But that's for another lesson. I've got that. I cover that in another lesson.
for today we're talking about the capo. Again, uh, by all means, uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, you, you will see what a difference it makes in what I'm talking about today. Uh, if you like my videos, if, you, if you're getting some, some uh, good tips and tricks and learning how to play the guitar, uh, like, uh, like uh, my channel, share my channel, uh, share my videos. I, I, I would appreciate it. i uh, love to hear from any of you if you have any questions, something you're having trouble with in the beginning. Uh, Put, put them down in the comments. I'll always be glad to answer my answer. Every, every uh, comment I receive, I'll reply to it. If it's something that needs a reply, I do it personally. Uh, it's all done by myself. I'm, I'm here to help you learn how to play the guitar. And this channel uh, is growing beyond belief. It's, we're growing by leaps and bounds. And I'm going to continue to try to uh, provide good quality lessons uh, in a way that, that you can learn how to play guitar without being led in a million different directions. Focus. Keep it simple. G minor, C, and D. That's the key. Uh, until next time, let's go play some guitar.